How is everyone doing? My name is Will Buckle, and welcome back to Lost Weekly Fantasy. In this week's video, we are going to be talking about who's struggling in fantasy, um, and really go in depth about what they're struggling with and how they're struggling with that. So let's get right into it. At number one, Allen Robinson. He does not have one game over ten and a half points. Really, really struggling quarterback in offensive line play. And he's just not getting a lot of targets, not getting good production in that offense. He doesn't seem to be getting a lot of looks. He doesn't seem to be getting, you know, what you think you'd be normally getting out of a number one wide receiver. Um, and it's just been really a bad season for him so far, and you have to hope that he can turn it around because he is a good player. He is a really good player. At number two, we have Ronald Jones. He's just completely fell off in Tampa Bay. Um from being that almost a bell cow last year, a bell cow running back, you know, he he was almost, I feel like, that he had almost solidified himself in the position last year. But Leonard Fournette this year has just fully taken over that running back one position. And he really leaves no room for Ronald Jones. <clears throat> um, he's just been doing great, and that's led Ronald Jones to only having one game just over 30 yards on the ground this season, and he hasn't even had one game over nine points. So it's been a diff difficult season for Ronald Jones, and I can see him in, you know, real life being traded away from the Buccaneers. Um, and maybe he does get put in a better situation, but right now he is just really struggling, and I don't really expect it to get much better just because of how Leonard Fournette is playing. I don't see him getting that many more touches than he is already. Number three, we're going to have Miles Sanders. He does not have one game over over just 75 yards. Not one. And he only has one game over just 11 points. He's getting inconsistent touches with Kenneth Gainwell in the backfield with him. And Kenneth Gainwell is doing pretty well. I mean, he... It, it just doesn't really look good for Miles Sanders right now. Um, there was, like, that one game where he only had, like, two touches, right? Um, Kenneth Gainwell has just been getting a lot of those. Um, he, he's yet. I mean, Kenneth Gainwell has more touchdowns than Miles Sanders, right? Like, it's, it's to that point where they're almost splitting touches. If not, Kenneth Gainwell's getting more touches, which... It's just sad to see because Miles Sanders, you know the talent that he has. He has the ability to be able to go for like a 30-point game um, at any point moment or at any moment of time, but he's just not getting that production that he needs to do that. At number four, we have Robbie Anderson. He's only averaging 2.5 receptions a game. His only game that he had over 50 yards receiving was when he had one reception for 57 yards in that whole game, and that's it. Um, he, as well, is struggling with production. Uh, he's not getting red zone looks. He is not getting that many targets, um, which is just really sad to see because you know how good he is. You saw it with the Jets, how good he just really was there and how... Uh, he worked out in the system, and they paid him over the off season. So you would think that he might be getting more looks at, but you have to hope that his talent over the course of the season is going to take over. But right now, it's just not looking good. Number five, we have Trey Sermon. Even though Raheem Mostert is out, he's still not being played as the number one back right now. It he's he's not even being played as the number two back right now, uh, which is Michael Hasty back, and it he's only averaging about seven rushes a game. He only has three targets out of the backfield on the whole season, and that was just in one game where he had three targets. Um, Elijah Mitchell has just completely came out of nowhere and taken over that job from where Trey Sermon would be. Um, it's unfortunate to see because I know people were drafting him um, very high for what he is right now. So wherever you were drafting him, you did not expect this out of him. So it's it's not very great. But the sad thing is that I don't think it's going to get much better because Elijah Mitchell has really come into himself and is looking really good. So Trey Sermon, 
probably not going to have a great rest of the season. But we'll, we'll have to see. You never know. Number six, we have Robert Tunyon. He's averaging six points throughout the whole season. And he's just not getting any targets. He's not getting any production. He only has two touchdowns all season. And he, he, he's only had two games over four points, right? He's just... What you get with Robert Tunyon is you're betting on him getting a touchdown, which if he gets a touchdown, he's easily going to go for, you know, over 10 points most of the time. But when he doesn't get that touchdown, you know... You're running the risk of him like he did in every single game that he hasn't gotten a touchdown this year. You know, going like under four points and having just those like really bad games. And that's kind of the risk reward with Robert Tunyon. You just don't know what you're going to get exactly. Um, Aaron Rodgers is still playing pretty well, but I just don't think Robert Tunyon is that guy that you need at your number one tight end. It's too risky. And at number seven, we have Miles Gaskin. He's only averaging about eight points a game besides his 131-point breakout game. But even in that game, he wasn't getting a lot of runs. It was mainly just his 10 catches out of the backfield. Um, he's just getting no production in the run game at all, and you're betting on him getting a lot of throws out the backfield, which you never know what's going to happen with a young QB in Tua, right? So that's kind of hard to predict. Um, how well he's going to do in game in and game out. One thing that all these guys have in common is that they're struggling badly. And for any one of these guys, I would advise you, uh, if they're on your team, to either drop them, trade them, or, you know, find a replacement. But the only guys on this list that you should probably think about keeping are Allen Robinson and Miles Sanders because they are that talented that they have that potential even in their you know struggling offenses to pop off but make sure that you have a replacement ready to come off the bench if these struggling's get even worse and you know we saw Miles Sanders get hurt this week so you probably want a replacement there <laughs> thanks for watching this week and we will see you guys in the next video